So here we are, leaving behind everything we know for the next six months. We said goodbye to our family and friends, jumped on our bikes and started moving towards the unknown. On our first day on the road, we cycled out of Berlin into a beautiful sunset. So today, first campground in Brandenburg morning so now we are leaving the camping ground and it's time to hit the road again second day. It's not all that exciting since we're still only a few kilometers from our hometown away. But we had good weather, made many kilometers and were even invited for a cup of tea in a little village. Afterwards we enjoyed the many little country roads and bike paths through the forest. It looks like this is gonna be our camping ground for tonight. This looks like a pretty flat spot. And there's still a little bit of sun left. Now we are all set up. And now we just gotta bring all of our stuff inside. And we're hungry, so. Super hungry. So this right here is our cooking setup. It's just this little fuel stove. So we just really take any type of alcohol, methylated spirits or gasoline and dump it in there and that's how we cook. And for dinner is pasta with onions and that's it because we forgot the pesto at home so yeah <laughs> kind of an emergency meal and we won't go to bed hungry Good stuff. so now it is time to cook some breakfast the sun is rising it's like 7 a.m and we're trying to do a little more kilometers than yesterday we didn't really get that far so yeah gotta start early we are packing it up almost ready to go We started off crossing through the Niederlausitz, one of Germany's biggest coal mining areas. Many of those mines are now turned into lakes, but it's still a weird landscape. We rode through many little villages and forests and saw new parts of our home country. This night the plan was to ride into the city of Dresden. We took a few detours and it got dark very soon. So as a beautiful finale for this day, we have to cycle up, up this hill. It's been a long time, we've just been going uphill, uphill, uphill. 
So, we were really lucky last night. Um, a friend of Henrik's girlfriend offered us to stay at their place. So, we actually had a shower last night. We could wash our clothes. We had a nice bed, dinner, breakfast, and yeah. Uh, not exactly what we were expecting, but pretty much what we needed. It's and amazing. Now we're ready to go. We're planning on doing 110 kilometers today. Yeah. And tomorrow we want to be in Prague. Yep. And we're just going to follow the Elbe River and enter the Czech Republic today. So let's see how that goes. <laughs> first day on our way to Prague, we had a lot of cold headwinds, so it became clear that we wouldn't make it to Prague in two days. Nevertheless, we kept riding. The mountains of the Elbsandsteingebirge were beautiful and the bike path was great all the way. And we saw a lot of trains. cycling our last kilometers on German grounds until we reach the border. But this is still Germany. Czech Republic. Germany. So today's food is classic noodles, pesto, some cheese, <laughs> cheese, and all made by the one and only Chef Henrik. Homemade. Good morning. It's minus one degree Celsius outside. We're taking down our tent. Most morning. of our stuff is full of ice. It's quite frigid, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna go down the, further on the Elbe River, and with the right clothes, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, the route. Snack time. So half of today we have to deal with paths like this. We've been really slow. It's super annoying. Now we have to clean all our chains because everything got full of the mud. So we woke up in the Czech Republic today in the morning and it's been very cold at night as you can see from all this ice on our bikes and yeah it's really hard to get all this 
stuff away from my pedal. You can see here all ice crystals. Whew. So we have our first flat tire, but uh, should be an easy fix. We're gonna arrive in Prague later than expected, <laughs> but okay. So Henrik just got us some water from the gas station. Uh, we spent the whole morning without drinking anything really. Uh, Pretty much as always. Good job, man. So now we had our last break before we're heading to Prague. Just 16 kilometers left and we're ready for the hostel. <laughs> yes, and the weather is great. It's an amazing day. So we're in Prague and we got this whole eight bed hostel room to ourselves. So we can just spread out and uh, repair our bicycles, whatever is needed and sort out all of our stuff, write our blogs, it's amazing. It's, uh, and tomorrow we got a well-deserved rest day after six days of cycling from sunrise to sunset. Um, so yeah, our legs are starting to, uh, yeah, we're starting to feel it a little, all the kilometers. Just, just a little. Just a little. And so yeah, we're just gonna chill out here for tomorrow and after that we're heading to Vienna. <laughs> 